Yo, what is going on people and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be creating a loading screen. I'm going to try and make this tutorial as easy as possible and as easy as to follow as I can. I'm going to be going from the start, the very beginning, all the way to the end. So make sure to follow clearly. And also, if this tutorial does help you out, please do leave a like and a subscription. If you do need any further help with any modding, please do join my Discord. There will be a link in the description. And also, if you guys could please head over to my Twitch. I'm going to start streaming more, and I would appreciate it if you guys could all come and check it out. So what we want to do firstly is we need to head over to Steam. We need to install Daisy Tools. So we're going to go to all, and as you can see, I have got these enabled. You need to enable the tools section. So for you, it may look like this originally. What you want to do is you want to click on the games, click on tools, and as you can see, Daisy Tools should show up. Now, if you haven't got it installed already, there should be a big blue button here that says install. I think you guys should already know how to click install and install a game. You can install it to where you want, it doesn't really matter. But once you have Daisy Tools installed, launch it and click play. And then once it opens, it should look something like this. It might say N, 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 but it should look like this. I want you guys to head over to tools, extract game data, and then click yes. Now that might take an hour. It depends on how quick your PC is. But the average is around half an hour to an hour. Once that's done. You should head over to tools again. And select mount P drive. It's going to come up with a menu. And you're going to select a yes. And once you've done that. You should be able to head over to your folder. And then click over here on P. And then it should look something like this. It'll have some files in, and I'm going to put a picture up on the screen how the default P drive should look like. The only reason why mine looks like this is because I've got many, many mods in here. But your P drive should look pretty plain and simple. We're going to now go over to here, and we're going to click New Folder. And in here, we're going to type Workbench images once that's typed out that's perfectly fine you're going to see what we're going to do with this folder later you guys now want to head over to this website there will be a link in the description and i want you guys to download winrar now also in the description there's going to be some files now these are your loading screen files and this is why you need this tool so get the tool first then head over to the description again and download the link and it will give you something like this once you open that what you've just downloaded it will give you a folder saying loading screen there'll be a config a scripts folder and a gui folder we're going to head over to the p drive again so here we are we've selected the p and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this folder and drag and drop it in the p file now just to double check, click P again, click on here, and press the letter L. As you can see, we now have the loading screen folder, and all the files are here. Now it's pretty simple. We're not even going to touch these. We don't need to touch these files to make this loading screen work. So what I want you guys to do now is I want you to get an image editing software. Now I'm going to be using Photoshop, but you guys can use GIMP or you can use anything that you prefer. So I've got Photoshop open now and what I need to do is create a new image. Now you guys, this should be the same principle whether you're using Photoshop, GIMP, Paint, it doesn't matter. It should be normally file new. So, we've pressed File New. We want the width to be 1920 by 1080. Click OK once that's created, and you should get an image basically that 
that looks like this. A white plain box that's longer this way and it's shorter here. So there we go, we have the image. Now this, you can do whatever you want on now. So I'm gonna go to File, Place, and I'm gonna use an image that's on my desktop. I'm gonna use this image here. Now I'm gonna realign this image. As you can see, there's a tiny little white smudge at the top. So I'm gonna make it perfectly fit. Now what you wanna do is you want to head over to File, Save As, you want to go to this PC, you want to go to local disk P, and we're going to go to that folder that we created earlier. So it was called Workbench Images. And in here, you want to save it as file format PNG. Now it does not matter what the name is called, but we're going to call it Loading Screen. There we go. And we're going to click save. We're going to click OK on this. And then once this is saved, we can exit the image editing software. Now, once we've edited the image and we've prepared it, we've put our logo on it, we've put our server details on it, do whatever you want with the image. We're going to head over to Daisy Tools and Workbench. Now, sometimes a workbench for the first time startup may take a while. I've had issues before where I've wiped my PC and it has taken a while to load up. We're going to head over to the workbench section here. We're going to go to options. And as you can see, it says source data directory restart required. We're going to select these three full stops there. We're going to go to local disk P. And we're going to select the folder we created earlier, which for me was Workbench Images. We're going to click Select Folder, and then we're going to click OK. Now, as you know, it did say that there is a restart required. So we're going to accept the restart. Once it's restarted, it should look something like this. It'll just be all this color and there's nothing here. We need to head over to source data and double click on this image. And as you can see here, we now have the loading screen picture that I selected. Now for you, obviously it won't be the same image. You'll probably have some text up here saying your server name or a logo. We need to head over to loading screen.png. We want to right click it and where it says register resource and import. That is what we want to select. And as you can see now, it's created us a loading screen dot e -D -D -S. Perfect. Now we can exit the workbench because it's done the job that it's supposed to do. We can head over to our folder. P. And now we can head back over to the folder we created earlier again, which was workshop or workbench images and as you can see we have a uh, three images we don't need to use this one or this one today we're going to be taking this one here so right click it copy and now we need to head over to the loading screen files so local disk p press l on your keyboard and we'll go to loading screen Right click in the loading screen folder and click paste there. Now at this point, it has to be called loading screen dot eds. If it's not called this, it's not going to show up. So make sure it is perfect. Now we've got all the files set up, ready for it to be going somewhat towards being in game. We need to go to our daisy root. And that is where Daisy is located. Head over to Steam. Right click Daisy. Head over to Properties. And as you can see, when you go to Local Files, it says Browse. We're going to click Browse. And as you can see, it shot us straight to 
where our mod might be or where the workshop is. So I'm going to make a custom folder. So I'm going to head to a new folder. Now I'd call this my server name or um, say my server name's Matthew for some reason. At Matthew loading screen or at Matthew LS. It doesn't really matter. You can call it whatever you want. And just for today's purposes, I'm going to call it at Matthew L. Inside this folder, there should be an add-ons folder. Now, you're going to only make a keys folder inside this if you're making this mod public and you want other servers to use it. But we don't need other servers to use our loading screen because it's our loading screen and it's probably for your server only and not for the public to all use your loading screen. So we're not going to create a keys folder today. Now that that's done, that's perfect. We need to head over to Daisy Tools once again. And this time we're going to be selecting add-on builder. Now this is going to create us our PBO, which is basically going to make the mod work for DayZ. Now for you guys, you'll probably get a blank add-on builder. It'll be nothing like this. You guys first let me to head over to options. And as you can see here, for you it will not be the same, but this should be some of this. It looks basically similar, should be here. I'm going to leave this text here, which you need to paste, copy, and paste it into this section. This line of code, what is in my add-on builder, will be in the description for you guys also. Then I want you to head to Path to Project folder. Click on these three dots here and select Local Disk P and click OK. Now that this is set up, we can click OK here. I want you to head over to add-on source directory, select these three dots, and I want you to select the loading screen folder. So click on one of these folders, then press L until you find the mod. So here we go, loading screen, and it's the correct folder. We're going to click OK, and now we're going to head over to destination directory or file name. We're going to select these three dots again. And the folder we just created a minute ago is what we're going to select. So, Matthew L, we're going to select add-ons folder. Now, if you use PBO project, you only need to select this folder. But add-on builder, we'll just slap it in this folder, not the add-ons folder. It needs to be in the add-ons folder for it to work. If it's in the main folder, this folder here, if you select that, it won't work. So make sure you select the add-ons folder. Click OK. And you can make sure that clear temp folder is on. Binarize. And just in case we do get any errors, make sure ex enabled extended login is on. Click this big orange button here. Pack. And as you can see, it'll do its thing. It, it, it might take a minute or two, depending on how big the file is. So once this is encrypting and making itself a PBO, we're just going to wait and we're going to open up our DAISY. Once the PBO has been created, it will say build successful. So then you can click OK and you can click X on add-on builder. And now we need to go to the DAISY launcher and select plus local mod. Now, you guys can test this out on your server, and I will show you in a minute how to publish this mod to the Steam Workshop so you can add it to your server. But I'm going to be testing this with using offline mode right now. So, I'm going to go to my DAISY folder. So, it's going to be located in F, Steam Library for me, Steam Apps, Common, DAISY. Remember, we was here earlier when we created our folder. And we're going to find it. So, Matthew L, we're going to click Select Folder, and we're going to click Load Mod. Now, I've got my Daisy Offline Mod set up here with the parameters. I do have a video on that if you do want to test it out. But most of you guys probably will be checking this out on your server. So, just wait a second, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to tab into Daisy now. And as you can see, we have the Daisy loading screen. I don't know why the recording software is doing that. The resolution for my DAISY is completely broke. 
I don't know why. But as you can see, the loading screen has worked. Um, it does cover your whole screen, so it's not just popped it out in um, a windowed mode or anything like that. There's no colour loss or anything like that. We have the man looking into the distance on this town of Chinaris. So we know that this loading screen does work. And now I'm going to head over to the Daisy Publisher so we can put this mod on Steam. So now we're going to give this mod some signatures. We're going to head over to DSUtils. We're going to make ourselves a private key. So we're going to select the N button there. We're going to give it a name. So loading LS for loading screen. We're going to click create key. Okay, we're going to click add as source directory and basically what we do there is we go steam steam apps common daisy We need to find that folder we created earlier So for me, it's Matthew L Then select add-ons click OK and process files Now for future reference when you guys are putting this key that you have just created here on your server folder so we're going to copy this path up here, we're going to open a new folder, and we're going to go to this, and we're going to paste that, click enter, and you're going to copy, right, this file here. This is the file you're going to copy to your daisy server keys folder. Once we have done that, we will now have our mod signed. So we're coming on the final part of the tutorial now, which is finally publishing this mod to Steam. We're gonna head over again to Daisy Tools, click Publisher, and then it's gonna open up like this. If you've made mods before or published them to the workshop, it'll show up to the left. If not, you'll have nothing there, so don't worry about it. We're gonna head over to Files, Mod Content, and we're gonna select the icon here the folder icon we're gonna go to steam steam apps all that stuff again to our daisy root folder this time we're gonna select the whole folder so we're not gonna select the add-ons folder we're gonna select at matthew l or whatever your mod folder is called select folder and if your signatures are done correctly it should say all signed we need to make the visibility public and then in the description, we're going to say loading screen. Loading screen. We're going to agree with the Steam Works license. And then we're going to hit publish. Now the mod's uploading to Steam. As you can see, publishing content to Steam Workshop. I've made it private just this time because I don't want people seeing this, but you guys must make this public. It must be public. Item was successfully published. Now, we need to give it a meta ID. Now, at the moment, it won't have a meta ID. So, we need to head over to the left, and we need to find the mod that we've just published. So, Matthew L. And this time, I'm going to change the description. I'm going to put a um, loading screen and... A cat's mark, um, like that. There we go. And then we're going to select the folder again. So Daisy, Matthew L. Remember, it must be public. Must be public. And then we're going to click update once again. Now that we select an update and it's publishing the content to the Steam Workshop, the mod is finally complete. And now you guys can add this mod to your server. Hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. If it did, please do leave a like and a subscription. If you don't mind, come over to my Discord if you do need any help or if you just want to chat. And also make sure to follow my Twitch. Link is in the description. Also, all the files from this video will be in the description. So make sure to click on the links when said so. I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Amigos.